These are some clips of deuce coverage used at Henderson State to defend some of the RPO game that they're seeing. As explained in the study, deuce coverage is a form of a split field coverage concept where what's going to happen, it's, it's a rush for principle. Henderson State's a three down team, but they're going to send the fourth rusher at some point in this situation. It's going to be off the edge. Okay, the corner's going to play the outbreaking route of number two. Okay, so it's very similar to cover two. The difference is he's going to be a little further back. And uh, Coach Gordon and Coach McInerney, the two co-defensive coordinators at Henderson State, talk about why they want this coverage as opposed to a pure cover two look against the RPO. Now, keep in mind, everything that Henderson does is breaking off the back elbow of the ball. Okay, and what that is is simple. That's the elbow to the side of the back. Whether, you know, if the quarterback's giving the ball, that elbow is going to drop. Okay, if that quarterback is going to pull the ball and throw it, that elbow will stay high. And Henderson State had 29 picks, 29 interceptions, led the country in 2015. And they did a lot of their, you know, zone coverages looked a lot like man because of that. So this is a deuce call where the free safety is going to stay on top of number two. He's going to play number two vertical. Okay, the corner is going to play any out-breaking routes of number two. This is the nickel. The nickel is going to be the short wall player on number two. This is the Sam. The Sam is going to be the short wall player on number three. So he's going to be responsible for handling the stick draw of the RPO game. Any vertical routes by number two will be handled by the safety. Any bubbles or anything like that will be handled by the corner induced coverage. Backside, you have the corner tied into the fit here, and you have the free safety, or the, or the weak safety, I should say, is poaching or taking any three vertical route. Okay, so now when you look here, it, it's going to be tough to see from this angle, but that elbow is not dropped. Okay, so that's going to trigger, and you watch coach, the coaches at Henderson State do a good job of training those secondary players to keep their eyes on the quarterback even when they are in man coverage. Okay, so they are keeping their eyes on the quarterback, and they're going to make a good break because they know the ball's going to get pulled here. So there's the outbreaking route of number two. The corners be able to swallow, take that, absorb that right away. And you have the nickel there in the apex, okay? And there's a Sam in the hole there, too. He's a short wall of number three. So you see he's almost there to make the play. If I could rewind this for you, I'd show you again. Okay, he's in the short wall area. He's able to just take anything on the stick because he's wall of number three. I will tell you this, in this particular situation, a lot of things are tied into the run fit. Okay, so they're going to make a slant to the field, as mentioned in the Flexbone co uh, copy of our special report in defending triple option. Henderson State does play with four techniques. They are mainly B-gap players. But what this does now is now they're making an out call to protect that Sam linebacker to not have a run fit in the box. Okay, and they are two-gap players, so you see that out call right there that does protect the Sam linebacker who could be stressed with these RPO concepts. So this is the same thing again. You got deuce. You got a pro slot look up top. Coach Gordon did tell us that you know the co-defensive coordinator who works with the safeties and secondary that this player should be a little wider out on number two. Again, he's a short wall player. That nickel's a short wall player of number two. The free safety is going to take anything vertical of number two, which is pass linebacker depth. Okay, there's the ball again. High elbow, quarterback's going to lift and throw. Could do a better job of collision. Number two, there is a window here in this particular situation. The free safety gets a little lucky. You'll see the errant throw, but he needs to close on that a little quicker. Okay, and you see the run fit here. You know, one of the things Coach McInerney, the co-defensive coordinator at Henderson State, told us is that a lot of times, you know, it's advantageous for the offense to run the ball based on box numbers, you know, and... and but what they do based on their pre-snap move in Henderson State and some of the two-gap stuff they do, they, do, they are able to negate the run action by doing some of those things. Okay, this is Deuce again. We're looking up top of the screen. Pretty good job now by the nickel who's able to leverage and play the short wall of number two. This is just a, a quick turn and throw, but we did want to show you this is, a, this is a rocket or a smoke or whatever you want to call it. Okay, the corner's driving right now. He's in a great position, eyes on the quarterback. Okay, here comes a nickel driving right now. One of those players is going to be on block. Because of this coverage, that gives you an opportunity to get two-on-one where they're both breaking those on, on those out routes. I think this one may be handed off. This is a trips look. Okay, so this ties in the weak side safety. He's going to poach any number three vertical. 
Okay, here's the extra rusher. You could the extra rusher could come from anywhere you want. Could be the mic, could be the will, could be the you know the, the corner and an upset. Does not really matter. And the ball looks like it's going to be handed off here, and we'll see the run fit on the next clip. Okay, where you see a pretty good job by that nose getting some penetration on the center. And this is what we mean by down elbow coaches. You look at this elbow right here. Right up. That's going to simulate a down elbow. Okay, elbows dropped, hands dropped, the ball's going to be given. Take a look at one more here again. Now it's a trips look. You got three to the field. Again, deuce coverage. Okay, here comes a weak pressure off the edge. Ball's down right away, triggering those linebackers to come take their gaps. And again, you just see the great eye placement of that nickel right there. He sees it. Okay, he's able to trigger, and because he's in the apex alignment, he's able to play the C-gap, again, because Henderson State plays with two, four techniques up front. Deuce coverage, coaches.